YouTubes, welcome back to James Recommends. This week you'll have to forgive me for keeping my coat on because I'm in the middle of Norway and as you saw a couple weeks back, my apartment is far too small to actually record James Recommends while I'm here. So one of the companies I'm consulting for was nice enough to lend me their office. Unfortunately, I can only use their office after midnight and they shut off the heating in Norway at about 10 p.m. So anyway, with that, uh, I am going to talk this week about a game that I just I want to say off the bat, I 100% recommend. Uh, this week, I'm going to talk about this war of mine. If you like games like State of Decay or games like Papers, Please, and I know that's a wide range. If you like either of these, I highly recommend that you check out this war of mine. What's uh, unique about this war of mine is that it's a war game in which you're playing a civilian living through the siege of a city. And I think this is so important because this is happening to uh, millions of people, literally millions of people around the globe even as we speak, and it puts you in their shoes. This is, this is an incredible experience, but what really, what really makes this game something so much more is the fact that very often when we talk about these type of games, when we talk about simulations or art games, the pushback, the criticism is always, well, why can't it be as engaging as all the games I play for entertainment? Well, let me tell you this. This War of Mine is. This War of Mine uh, plays basically like a 2D version of State of Decay. You get a couple of survivors, you guys met up, you found a house to take refuge in, to squat in, to try and live out the war. And during the day, you go about tasks in the house, trying to repair things or build things, uh, making sure that your people have enough to eat, cooking food, right? And you spend those hours of the day, those precious hours of the day, assigning tasks to each of your people. And then when night rolls around, it's time to go scavenge, to go creep off to one of the other buildings in this war-ravaged city in order to explore and to find the materials you'll need to survive the next day. And it's a constant struggle to even get enough to eat, much less start building up the uh, micro-economy of your little safe haven. Because over time you can build uh, a, a, everything from a stove and beds to a tiny machine shop to build yourself weapons. And it's not that there's no combat, right? It's just that this isn't combat focused. You're gonna spend a lot more of the game sort of stealthily sneaking through these places you're scavenging, looking for things. And what really makes this uh, unique and an incredible experience is that as you go to scavenge some of these buildings, you will encounter moments, very distinct moments from, that feel very real, very present from this sort of war and siege mentality. Uh, I won't, I'll try not to spoil anything, but uh, for example, there, there's, there's a moment where you stand outside a door and you hear a soldier talking to a woman and you have to f stop and think for a moment because you could intervene or you could use that moment to sneak around this house and scavenge more things and help the people who you're living with, who you want to protect, who you want to see survive. And who knows, I mean, confronting a soldier is probably not the best idea anyway. So it has all these, all these tense moments. I mean, it has these also great moments where you go into a school and there's a group of vigilantes who uh, have convinced themselves that they're there to protect people, and they're arguing back and forth as tough choices even come to them, right? Whether or not to uh, feed the people that they're protecting or to keep this food they found for themselves. So, as you're playing this game, as you're playing this really engaging, every time, at least for me, that I started to tip towards losing myself in the engagement of how, how intense it was, how exciting almost an experience it was to try and see if I could get these people to survive even though it was painful I mean it 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 felt so engaging 
and then, then it would bring me back. It would just, I would just come and encounter this moment where I touched something that really felt like real war. And that was a powerful thing. So, yes, there's all sorts of tiny issues that come with a small indie developer building a game by themselves, releasing for the first time, but since I believe this video will launch on the day that uh, this war of mine actually goes out of early access and becomes live, I highly recommend that today you pick up this war of mine. I will see you all next week.